Hey there everyone and welcome back. So Chris and myself decided to go skate in underground and I totally forgot to film the beginning and an outro. So we had a few minutes to actually uh, try to do a couple runs. I decided to skate do a little run for myself and try to do a double kickflip over a basket while Chris was practicing his freestyle for the upcoming world freestyle roundup tournament that's happening in May and uh, you'll see his little uh, run that he's been practicing on every day. So we'll start with my run, my double kickflip, and then we'll get into Chris's freestyle run. That was just a little run for fun and the double kickflip I didn't actually think I was going to get because the basket was kind of high but I actually ended up stomping it so it was actually pretty sick. So now this is going to be Chris doing his freestyle run for the competition that's coming up. He's been practicing like every single day for hours on stop so he's getting it down like really good. Usually there's three runs that you do at this event so I try to do a different run every time. Uh, other people they try to just do one run and they do that every uh, three tries so it depends on what style you want to go if you want to do differently every time or do the same and try to get it like you know the best you can and I figure the best way to do it is to try to mix it up so the audience is kind of seeing something new but as a skater for the event you obviously want to do the same run every time to try to get it perfect as you know as can be and as you can tell Chris is very consistent at his flat ground because that's what he like practices every single day so uh, I'm gonna shut up and uh, we're gonna watch his freestyle <laughs> So that was uh, Chris's freestyle run for the freestyle contest coming up. He's Like I said, he's been practicing it every single day. He's getting really consistent. The only trick he missed was his last trick at the very end. If you guys aren't familiar with it, it's called the World Freestyle Roundup. It's going to be held a uh, May long weekend at the rodeo at the curling rink. They actually clear all the ice out and let us skate in the rink, which is pretty sick. I'm pretty confident in Chris. I'm pretty sure his flat ground game is really good. Like I said, you can see by the video, he's been practicing. And I'm pretty sure if he ends up nailing all those tricks, even if he doesn't get that last trick where he does, he should place the top 10. But it's hard to say because it's up to the judges, and the judges are freestyle uh, skaters. They're more into different, you know, unique style and all that stuff. There's different judging and points, and some of those tricks, like, are freestyle, or a lot of them are just different street flat ground tricks. But you kind of bring what you know into the event, and you just try your hardest and your best, and... It's all up to the judges and see what they like and what they don't like. So, like I said, I'm pretty sure he's going to do really well if he ends up nailing all those. I should probably start practicing my freestyle run for the event, but I just got a lot to do and don't really have the time to go out and focus on it, which I should be doing, but it's all good. I'll just probably wing it like I do every year and <laughs> see how I do, but it's just a, it's just for fun anyway, so I'll just enter for fun and just say that, you know what, I competed and tried my best, so you guys should look forward to it, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. You all know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up for a like if you enjoyed Chris's freestyle run, as well as my double kick flip. Comment down below with whatever you guys want. And last but not least, please subscribe. And if you're not a subscriber, do it now.